Uh, so today's talk, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Sergei gave me uh, the title uh, of uh, uh, some synchrotron spectroscopy using synchrotron on correlated system. So I uh, uh, going to talk about uh, transition metal oxides and especially high temperature superconductors and uh, uh, mainly focus on the uh, new results, uh, 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 which has been done recently in uh, Taiwan uh, photon source, Taiwan synchrotron facility. Now I am um, spend uh, half of time in there. And uh, uh, so uh, as already introduced, I am uh, from University of Tokyo. Uh, and uh, uh, now uh, mm, mm, retired from the University of Tokyo and now uh, visiting professor at the uh, National Tsinghua University in, in Taiwan and uh, also visiting uh, uh, scientist at the uh, National Synchrotron Radiation Center in Taiwan. And uh, this is a uh, <coughs> shows the Taiwanese uh, uh, synchrotron. Uh, th this picture is uh, seven years ago. The beam line was under construction. And now, uh, then uh, after a few years, uh, started to working. This is a RICS resonant X-ray, inertic X-ray scattering beam line uh, started to working in uh, the 2017 or 18, and I visited there in the, uh, this year. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, our leader is Dijin Huang uh, and his colleagues. Uh, I'll be working together with them and uh, uh, this picture somehow, uh, the Daniel Komsky is uh, exchanging a name card with the uh, president of uh, Seoul National University uh, 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 between Taiwan and Korea, Japan. Uh, we have been uh, uh, continuing the annual meeting uh, over the last 20 years. Uh, uh, but uh, this is uh, just before the COVID started. And uh, after that, uh, this uh, <coughs> stopped for some time, but uh, we like to uh, restart it again uh, in the near future. And uh, so today, uh, the outline of my talk is uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, like this uh, synchrotron, uh, first synchrotron radiation spectroscopy, a general introduction, and uh, resonant photo emission. These are early days uh, work on resonant photo emission spectroscopy uh, to uh, uh, identify the uh, fundamental uh, electronic structure parameters. Uh, but uh, uh, most of the uh, problems in the Q plates has been done on a single band uh, based on the single band Haber model. So uh, uh, we, uh, I would like to uh, touch on how one can uh, 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 simple new recipe, how to convert a uh, uh, complicated uh, realistic uh, Electronic structure into a simple uh, single band Haber model. And then uh, go to uh, in elastic, recent inelastic X ray scattering uh, results uh, for uh, Q plates. Uh, and uh, 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 pyrochlor uh, structure. Uh, material uh, competition between the Yantela uh, 
distortion and spin orbit coupling. And uh, if I have time, uh, I will briefly talk about uh, what other information can be obtained using RICS, especially charge fluctuation, charge ordering, and so on, and then summarize. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, the synchrotron radiation, uh, maybe many, most of you know already, uh, but uh, the synchrotron has a wide uh, range or energy range, a uh, uh, highly brilliant uh, 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 X-ray sources, and uh, from uh, infrared to uh, gamma rays, but uh, our spectroscopic studies uh, will be uh, have been done on the uh, this uh, limited region, so-called soft X-ray region and X-ray region, from uh, uh, 100 to uh, uh, 10 kilo EV, uh, this range, and uh, <clears throat> spring eight covers a uh, relatively high energy part, and the uh, Taiwan photon source a relative low energy part, but they are complementary to each other. And, and uh, in this uh, energy range, uh, one can uh, access the, uh, many, many different core levels uh, from <coughs> uh, uh, in VUV uh, uh, region, uh, for example, uh, in my talk, I will focus on the 3 g tungsten metal uh, oxide. So the, uh, uh, I, uh, core levels useful for them is uh, uh, so-called MH or 3P to 3D absorption and uh, LH or uh, 2P to 3D absorption. Uh, which uh, resonate with the uh, uh, valence band excitation uh, so that uh, we can get uh, <clears throat> many useful information. And uh, uh, first, uh, let me start from uh, uh, my uh, uh, old work. Uh, uh, resonant photo emission has started uh, uh, many decades ago, or it is uh, uh, for emission uh, uh, followed by uh, X-ray absorption from the core level to an uh, empty uh, valence state, and then uh, so-called super costa chronic transition, the <coughs> uh, excited electron is combined with a coho, and then kick out a uh, uh, valence electrons. Uh, this final state is identical to a uh, uh, direct uh, non-resonant photo emission. So two uh, final states uh, interfere uh, quantum mechanically and uh, has shows a so-called final resonance and uh, uh, photo emission, emission intensity is dramatically enhanced. Uh, so it's a uh, one of the very early work uh, by uh, Stanford group at, uh, for typical, uh, prototypical motor insulator nickel oxide at nickel 3P to 3D core absorption region. Uh, so this uh, data shows that uh, near absorption region, the so-called satellite is enhanced and the uh, so-called main band is uh, does not enhance or even uh, suppressed. Uh, so uh, the enhancement occurs in the satellite. This is unexpected results because uh, uh, enhancement was supposed to occur in the D states, uh, so uh, main band, but actually a uh, D state is not enhanced but even suppressed. Uh, <clears throat> right after this, uh, uh, simple two orbital model, a simple calculation was made by uh, 
uh, Craig Davis uh, and uh, uh, for uh, uh, he assumed two different uh, electronic structure. Uh, one is a conventional uh, MOT insulator, lower Hubbard band and upper Hubbard band are split by Coulon U and the oxygen P level is below. Or then, of course, the main band is enhanced, should be enhanced. But uh, 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 in order to explain the enhancement of the satellite, uh, this oxygen and the lower Hubbard band um, energy ordering should be interchanged. Uh, so uh, then satellite is enhanced like this. <clears throat> so uh, this uh, suggests that the uh, electronic structure of nickel oxide is uh, different from a uh, mm, conventional picture of a uh, MOT insulator. Uh, so uh, actually this uh, uh, session O is uh, now uh, uh, president of uh, Seoul National University, and uh, who was talking with Daniel uh, in the previous slides. And uh, so uh, then uh, we uh, try to explain those uh, uh, data using a so-called cluster model uh, in which the uh, uh, different from the conventional ligand field multiple theory, in which a electron is emitted from D8 configuration to D7. Uh, uh, this in the cluster model, electrons are allowed to move move between the D orbital and the oxygen P orbital. Uh, then to in order then fit in order to reproduce the data, uh, D7 multiplet uh, is actually uh, deep, uh, uh, a few several electron volts below the chemical potential. So this is enhanced. Uh, and the uh, main band is suppressed. Uh, so uh, this kind of electronic structure uh, turned out to be a real uh, true electronic structure. Uh, so, uh, parameter value is U is quite large. Coulomb uh, energy is of the order of uh, uh, 10 EV, and charge transfer energy between oxygen P and D are uh, several electron volt. So, uh, uh, so this is uh, classified as a charge transfer type motor initiator. Uh, and according to uh, Zanen Sawatsky Allen, uh, 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 formalize this, formulate this uh, uh, so called child transfer versus Motaba uh, type insulator in the so called Zanen Sawatsky Allen scheme. Now, a uh, couple of cuprates uh, 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 resonant photomission has been done. Uh, uh, just after the discovery of uh, ITC cuprates uh, and the uh, model compound copper oxide, uh, resonance occurs at a lower uh, deep binding energy uh, so that the electric structure is uh, uh, almost uh, sim similar to this uh, nickel oxide. And uh, <coughs> the cluster is a little bit different because. Uh, uh, structure is uh, kappa is coordinated by uh, four oxygen in a square plan planar uh, way, but uh, uh, parameter is similar. Uh, charge transfer energy is a little bit smaller, but U is large, and uh, PD hopping integral is also large as, uh, as this one. And uh, uh, so, uh, but uh, let me uh, derive uh, the single Hubble model from this electronic structure. Uh, this uh, complicated 
the electric structure. Uh, <clears throat> because uh, uh, the almost all the uh, uh, physical properties, uh, as well as uh, angles of photo emission uh, studies, transport, uh, frame surface mapping, uh, and uh, fitting those uh, band structure to a tight binding model, uh, all of them has been done uh, based on a single band, band model uh, and not uh, based on a PD or uh, multi-band model. So and the uh, single band parameter is universally something like uh, U equal three, much uh, smaller than uh, than this uh, seven or eight. Uh, and the uh, hopping integral is also uh, smaller than the bare hopping integral. So uh, uh, so uh, according to this multiplet calculation, the lowest energy state is actually a uh, so-called Zanrai singlet. Uh, where uh, up uh, all on the kappa and the oxygen form a singlet within this uh, uh, square planar cluster. And the uh, empty state, which is not, cannot be seen by a uh, polar emission, but uh, supposed to be uh, a few EB above the uh, uh, frame level. Uh, so called upper upper band uh, with D10 configuration. So uh, the all physical transport uh, low energy properties uh, are uh, defined, determined by this uh, two uh, states uh, uh, with uh, uh, and uh, the genus is one for each one Zara singlet. And uh, uh, because this is a singlet, so no general spin or without degeneracy and upper half band is field D10. So this is degeneracy is also one. So one and one is as a result of splitting of a uh, fermion, uh, which has a spin half degeneracy uh, is two, but this two is split into lower and upper half a band uh, by a cooling interaction uh, of uh, a few electron volt. Not this big value, but a small cooling interaction. Uh, the si similar thing is happening in the uh, from uh, ab initio band theory. By this is by calculation and uh, so called. Uh, 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 downfolding of the multi band into a so called three band model uh, to a single band model. And uh, uh, they derived a parameter for three band model and single band model. And uh, interestingly, those parameters turn out to be uh, similar to, sorry, uh, similar to a spectroscopic uh, value of uh, uh, very large U and uh, uh, charge transfer energy of few EV and the hopping integral of one to one to five. Uh, but then single band model, uh, U is reduced and uh, hopping integral is also reduced uh, uh, consistent with this uh, uh, general uh, agree, general agreement, generally used uh, single uh, band parameter. Okay, I should also mention that uh, uh, magnetic properties uh, can also be uh, understood with this parameter uh, through uh, uh, super exchange uh, <coughs> coupling constant J. Uh, four times uh, T square over U, uh, 
describe the motor, motor initiating states. So almost every physical properties can be understood within the single band uh, Haber model. So uh, uh, let me repeat, the real system is a multiband, uh, but uh, then for spectroscopy uh, and uh, also downfolding into three band, uh, we pick up uh, these three bands. Uh, and uh, but the unright singlet is formed uh, uh, between uh, just above uh, oxygen P band. Uh, then this unright singlet and the upper Haber band form a so called uh, effective single band Haber model. And the parameter value is much reduced from the three band model. So, how, how how to, do we understand in a simple way? And in the three-band model, uh, we, uh, oh, so, sorry, uh, let me start from the single-band uh, model in which we ignore oxygen and two kappa and exchange, super exchange coupling can be understood uh, in terms of a second order perturbation of hopping integral uh, as a well-known formula, J equal four times T squared over U. And, but for a, a three-band model, uh, uh, we introduce, if we introduce uh, oxygen mm, between kappa, uh, then uh, the perturbation becomes much more <coughs> Uh, have a more variety and uh, for fourth uh, order perturbation with respect to hopping uh, gives you this uh, uh, super exchange coupling constant. Combining with this, these two, uh, you can be uh, derived, uh, represented by uh, derived by this formula and T in the single band hardware model can be derived from uh, 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 three band parameters like this. And uh, so uh, from uh, our initial uh, band folding and down folding into three band and spectroscopy, XPS and the RICS photo emission. Uh, and uh, uh, coupling, uh, exchange coupling, mostly they are from uh, inertic neutron scattering. Uh, combining this, uh, we get uh, <coughs> U about uh, 3 to 4 and T around uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4. And uh, uh, we have an independent value from uh, uh, for theory uh, by downfolding into one band model uh, and uh, well accepted value from RPS and inelastic neutron scattering. Uh, this uh, method uh, reproduce the, those, uh, para, those values quite well. So uh, I hope I, we understand how the single one Haber model is derived from uh, uh, realistic <coughs> uh, spectroscopic and data. And then uh, let me go to a uh, resonant inelastic scattering <coughs> uh, Mm, of uh, cuprates and uh, some uh, related materials. And the resonant inelastic scattering is uh, uh, similar to resonant or emission, but uh, initiated by uh, extra absorption from, from core level to an uh, empty state. But uh, uh, then followed by uh, 
uh, recombination of the excited uh, <coughs> combination of uh, uh, valence occupied valence electron to and a uh, coho, uh, then uh, 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 X-ray is emitted, uh, but uh, energy is lost. Uh, incoming and emitted uh, photon energy, X-ray energy, a difference correspond to uh, the uh, 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 excitation energy of uh, uh, electron hole pair. And uh, also the, uh, the uh, momentum, different momentum uh, between incoming X-ray and uh, emitted X-ray uh, gives you uh, the momentum of uh, uh, excitation. So uh, these two states are uh, identical. So uh, uh, there is a uh, quantum mechanical interference and uh, uh, scattering intensity is uh, resonantly enhanced. <clears throat> so uh, RICS is a very powerful uh, technique. And uh, uh, first, uh, uh, let me uh, 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 briefly mention that uh, uh, these uh, uh, levels can be uh, obtained, uh, studied by uh, RICS mm, by exciting some of these uh, states uh, into uh, this uh, empty state. There is only uh, one empty state, so uh, uh, excitation spectra correspond has a one-to-one -one correspondence to uh, uh, occupied uh, electronic uh, states. So uh, these are uh, crystal field, uh, so-called uh, crystal field excitation um, uh, from different crystal field uh, level of kappa 3D to uh, kappa 3D x square minus y square. Uh, and the spectra changes uh, depending on the uh, coordination of uh, uh, oxygen coordination for a kappa atom. Uh, this so-called LSCO has an elongated octahedron, hedra, hedron uh, and uh, this compound has a uh, uh, almost uh, pure uh, square planar. And uh, this mass 2212 has a uh, elongated uh, square pyramid, pyramid coordination. So crystal fields are uh, very different between these different <coughs> uh, compounds. And uh, uh, so uh, spectra is different, uh, corresponding to a uh, different uh, <coughs> energy level. In particular, the DZ square R square uh, is uh, low, 1.2 in LSCO, and the very high energy in the, this, uh, this compound. Uh, because of the missing uh, so-called epical oxygen in this <coughs> uh, structure. So, uh, uh, so uh, then uh, now uh, uh, this is a main <coughs> uh, topic of my. Uh, today's colloquium and the so-called electron fractionization in the pseudo-gap state of cuprates uh, uh, using the same method. But uh, electron hole pair excitation is now not uh, between 
localized crystal fuel levels, but uh, between uh, occupied and uh, unoccupied uh, band states. <clears throat> so uh, the motivation of this work study is that the uh, uh, so-called mysterious uh, phase diagram of a cube rate uh, uh, more precisely mysterious origin of the pseudo gap. Pseudo gap uh, origin has been studied uh, just starting from just after the discovery of uh, cube rates and continues to be uh, the most difficult problem. And until now, I don't think uh, uh, answer the uh, clear answer is given about the origin of the pseudo gap. The, still a lot of controversy is going on. <clears throat> Uh, among many proposals, uh, one is superconducting fluctuation or preform Cooper pair. Uh, but uh, pseudo gap region is so huge uh, uh, from load uh, up to high temperature for low doping level. Uh, and uh, another, more recently, charge order, charge ordering. Uh, has been proposed to uh, uh, be an origin of the pseudo gap. Uh, but, uh, this is uh, quite attractive viewpoint. Uh, but uh, pseudo gap temperature uh, uh, determined experimentally, mostly by uh, resonant inelastic X ray scattering by many groups. Uh, are different between different uh, <coughs> cuprate system, LSCO, YBCO, and mercury, and so on. Uh, but the uh, pseudo gap temperature is uh, quite similar between different uh, materials. So, uh, and the uh, more recently, nematic ordering has been uh, proposed as the origin of the pseudo gap. Uh, maybe nematic order and charge order looks similar, uh, but uh, still, uh, nematic order disappears at high temperature, and the pseudo gap uh, persists up to very, very high temperature. Uh, uh, or uh, in the uh, underdoped region. So uh, uh, we propose, or uh, actually, uh, uh, some different groups has proposed that the electron fractionization uh, is the origin of the seal gap, uh, quite naturally. And uh, <clears throat> This is uh, based on the uh, so-called uh, uh, many num numerical calculation of the two-dimensional single band Haber model uh, show a uh, pseudo gap feature uh, in this uh, uh, so-called antinodal region or pi zero region or, or here uh, in the, uh, uh, sorry, th these are experimental data, but uh, numerically, uh, theoretically also, uh, if you do a uh, uh, unbiased uh, numerical calculation uh, using uh, different techniques, uh, including so-called cluster dynamic field theory, uh, <clears throat> gap, uh, pseudo gap develops uh, as a <clears throat> uh, as a splitting of the uh, band uh, around pi zero, uh, pi zero in this region, uh, this region. 
And uh, these are numerical uh, data. Mm. So uh, first, please uh, look at the uh, green bands. Uh, this is the energy band. Uh, and uh, before hold doping, a gap is open, uh, so-called mot gap uh, in the entire Brian zone. Uh, and, and hold doping, by hold doping, and uh, this uh, upper part of the lower harbor band is so-called uh, coherent part of the lower harbor band is split into uh, original coherent part of the lower harbor band and the India uh, band. Uh, so uh, this is uh, looks uh, like uh, this one band is fractionalized into uh, uh, two uh, different bands. <clears throat> And uh, so this is, uh, uh, we refer to this phenomena as electron fractionalization. And, <clears throat> um, but this uh, uh, splitting occurs in a small energy scale. So uh, the blow up of this part looks like uh, this is original. Uh, coherent uh, lower half a band uh, and the uh, India band is split from this uh, uh, co lower half coherent part of the lower half a band uh, indicating some uh, fractionization of uh, electron <clears throat> uh, this uh this was uh, first modeled by uh, uh, already uh, 15 years ago by in, in the famous paper, Yang Rice Zhang, uh, using a uh, self energy, uh, which is, <coughs> which diverges at the uh, uh, Brian zone, anti fermatic Brian zone boundary. Uh, and the uh, gap function is assumed to be D, D wave symmetry. Uh, because uh, this is a uh, cupress is a D wave superconductor. So they uh, uh, assume that the uh, pseudo gap uh, should most likely to be, uh, have a D wave symmetry. But these are uh, uh, not uh, uh, just a model or ansatz. And uh, more recent <coughs> uh, 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 studies uh, in, uh, by uh, Imada's group uh, uh, is uh, they propose a more flexible model of a so-called two-component fermion model. Uh, Self-energy is also diverges uh, to create, to split the band and uh, create a pseudo gap. But, uh, uh, but uh, diverges, uh, uh, diverging uh, point is, if this diverges, uh, green function becomes zero, goes to zero. So this uh, red band is, they call the uh, hidden fermion or dark fermion. And uh, uh, mathematically, this dark fermion band uh, represented by omega d uh, and uh, Original uh, coherent hub, low hub band, uh, hybridization uh, can be 
determined to uh, reproduce the numerical uh, cluster dynamical mean field theory calculation or RPS data. So uh, the idea is similar to uh, this uh, uh, Yang Rai Zhang model, but those uh, self energy or hybridization uh, gap parameter are quite flexible and uh, could be fitted to experimental data. Uh, so uh, these data are more or less uh, fixed uh, using the uh, numerical calculation and the uh, RPS. Uh, then we go to the RICS data to uh, uh, further confirm the, the two-component two -component fermion model works or not. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, this, this is a uh, uh, more schematic uh, drawing of this uh, uh, lower upper harbor band, lower harbor band, uh, coherent part of the lower harbor band, and uh, uh, dark fermion, uh, divergent uh, Green's function. Uh, and, and this... Uh, <coughs> In the whole doping, uh, the coherent lower haba band and uh, another uh, uh, dark fermion band uh, uh, hybridize uh, coherent lower haba band and dark fermion band hybridize uh, with each other and open a gap. Uh, 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 in the uh, anti-nodal region. That's uh, how the pseudo gap is opened. And uh, this formalism is uh, more flexible that the, uh, in the nodal region, the pseudo gap can open. The in D wave uh, gap, uh, the gap is zero on the nodal line, but uh, in this uh, formalism, uh, no doubt, uh, pseudo gap can appear at, at the node uh, uh, also like this, but uh, uh, pseudo gap reaches a chemical potential frame level only uh, in the anti nodal region. So that's why we observe this pseudo gap structure. And uh, so the uh, effect of uh, uh, superconductivity is uh, introduced by uh, pairing potential and the superconducting gap opens here. And uh, this is a calculation of the two component fermion model for the uh, RPS at pi zero pseudo gap state and the superconducting state. As the superconducting state, uh, uh, gap is symmetric. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, in the pseudo gap state, uh, superconducting gap disappears and the gap can be asymmetric. And um, the empty part of this uh, gap can be observed detected by RPS because uh, the, uh, at, high, at high temperature, above Tc, the frame Dirac distribution function remains finite above, this, above the frame level. Uh, so uh, uh, this uh, the experiment uh, detect that uh, uh, even Along the node, uh, the, there is a slight signature of gap opening, not as clear as a uh, numerical calculation, but uh, uh, but the uh, gap is quite asymmetric, and therefore uh, <clears throat> the superconducting 
uh, for our Ricks spectra, uh, uh, the, uh, for ARPES, the superconducting state, the frame Dirac function becomes narrow and asymmetric part cannot be uh, detected. Uh, but in the Ricks, uh, uh, this calculation suggests that the superconducting uh, RIC signal is enhanced uh, below TC. Uh, this is a unique uh, phenomena that cannot be observed by other spectroscopic uh, method. So uh, let me come back to the RIC data. And uh, in our, uh, we focus on interband exciton, electron hole pair excitation within this uh, diagram. And along this uh, uh, line, uh, and we first we fix the pi zero. Uh, uh, momentum transfer pi zero, or, and uh, fix the energy uh, 0.5 BB above the chemical potential. Uh, and uh, but we fix this and uh, change the uh, incident energy uh, 0.8 to 0.1 uh, uh, or 0.1. And uh, this uh, in momentum space, the length uh, momentum transfer is fixed and uh, shifted. But uh, in energy momentum space, excited electron uh, energy is increased. Then, uh, uh, according to this increase, the <coughs> initial state also shifted. So basically, we, we uh, the data, uh, raw data shows uh, enhancement below TC, uh, like, uh, uh, like this. Uh, first, no uh, energy, incident energy is increased. Then uh, in enhancement uh, in the superconducting state is enhanced. Uh, <clears throat> so, and the uh, uh, as a function of temperature. Uh, uh, this uh, intensity uh, <coughs> increases below TC and suppressed uh, above T star, and then uh, and for a uh, overdub sample, uh, there is no pseudo gap state, uh, so uh, intensity doesn't change uh, as a function of temperature. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a uh, uh, then uh, let me go to uh, the uh, sec, uh, this next topic. Uh, now we fo focus on the DD excitation, DD exciton, uh, as already mentioned or uh, cuprates, uh, excitation from between crystal field level. Uh, but this uh, can be uh, applied to a uh, uh, different copper oxide. Uh, this is a uh, interesting material, uh, copper uh, aluminum O4 or in the spinel structure. In, in the so-called pyrochloral lattice. This is 
uh, cut by two plus is uh, coordinated by a tetrahedron of oxygen. And the, uh, so uh, the, <coughs> this is interesting uh, uh, system because uh, in the, uh, if a system remains uh, uh, perfectly tetrahedral, then uh, the <coughs> spin orbit interaction splits the T2 into J effective half and J effective three half, and uh, one hole occupies here. So the system becomes so-called J effective half uh, system. Uh, LDA uh, uh, calculation, including, mm -hmm. is uh, quite, uh, but uh, if uh, there's a distortion, a Yantara effect, uh, those, uh, uh, one of the T2 uh, level is uh, occupied by uh, one hole. And so, uh, uh, if the system is Yantera distorted or uh, non-distorted, but effective uh, half is uh, quite uh, subtle, uh, the calculation can uh, be produced in both cases, depending on slight change in the lattice parameters or <coughs> spin orbit interaction. Uh, this problem is, it's, of course, uh, attracted a lot of interest for uh, so-called Kitaifu physics in the honeycomb lattice of ruthenium or iridium uh, compounds. Uh, and so experimentally, uh, by RICS, one can study this uh, splitting by uh, exciting uh, one electron to this empty state or uh, uh, between this uh, small splitting or this or this. But uh, this uh, uh, the energetics is quite similar between this and this. So in order to distinguish uh, between them, one needs to uh, 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 perform uh, X-ray absorption uh, spectroscopy. Uh, X-ray absorption is uh, 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 the two P core level LH is split into uh, L3 and L2, uh, J equal three half and one half. And uh, but if a uh, uh, ground state is J effective half, then uh, transition to uh, of the coho to this J2 is forbidden. So X-ray absorption spectra uh, uh, will miss the uh, L2 component. Actually, real materials uh, has two components, uh, uh, but uh, uh, because uh, this is very difficult to material and the impurity. Uh, uh, kappa two plus ion in octahedral site uh, is uh, impurity uh, will uh, maybe overlapping. So, uh, uh, but by doing uh, RICS measurements, uh, we can um, separate between extrinsic uh, uh, kappa aluminum oxide and the impurity absorption. And uh, if you focus on this uh, ex intrinsic uh, signal, then uh, we, we could observe uh, this and this uh, uh, two uh, kinds of uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, crystal feed excitation. So uh, unfortunately, uh, after uh, removing impurity, 
、えー、セグナ、ジェイコーエルトゥーハス、セグナ、フィスタルフィーエクサイテーション。So, uh, uh, this, uh, we conclude that the tetrahedral、uh, kappa 2 plus is the antenna distorted and、uh, Uh, effect effective half is not realized. Maybe the same physics can be studied in the other materials, but、uh, so far it,、uh, we have not been successful to get the <coughs> extra absorption of this signal. Oh, maybe.、Uh, Uh, since uh, uh, we are running, I'm running out of time. I let me flash this、uh, very different uh, uh, aspect one can study by Rick's is、uh, first the、uh, plasma excitation. This is so called、uh, acoustic plasma and uh, uh, charge ordering.、Uh, this is a zero energy、uh, broad peaks due to charge ordering and, and phonons.、Uh, also, phonon shows anomaly at、uh, high temperature, like this. These are <coughs> very.、Uh, Uh, interesting uh, uh, so called uh, uh, CDW has been a hot topic in the recent <coughs> studies in cuprates. So,、uh, as I already mentioned, that uh, uh, charge ordering and the、uh, origin of the pseudo gap is.、Uh, Closely related or, or, or uh, uh, may, maybe still we, I, I didn't、uh, mm, completely rule out the charge, charge order or charge fluctuation, the charge order fluctuation as the origin of the pseudo gap, but the、uh, And there are many other excitations which I will not have time to talk about. And、uh, let me summarize.、Um, sorry, I was in a rush, but、uh, so I hope I convinced you that the synchrotron radiation spectroscopy using utilizing core level resonance is、uh, a powerful tool to investigate the correlated、uh, transition metal oxides. And、uh, electronic structure parameters,、uh, delta U, T, and crystal field、uh, splitting can be studied by a、uh, resonant photo emission XA Sun Rigs. And <clears throat> the, so I、uh, presented a simple method to、uh, derive one band、uh, Hubbard model. Parameters U and T, which is quite universal for the cuprates、uh, from the three band model,、uh, which has been determined by spectroscopy, core level spectroscopy, and the、uh, fast principles uh, uh, calculation uh, and this downfolding method. And、uh, Through the temperature dependent studies of interband electron hole pair excitation using RICS electron fractionization in the pseudo gap state uh, is uh, demonstrated. And the、uh, DD excitation uh, is uh, <coughs> for this material uh, uncovers a、uh, competition between the Yantela. Effect and spin orbit coupling. 
and uh, I didn't have time, but uh, charge dynamics, charge ordering, and for no anomalies. Uh, also, <coughs> uh, Rix is a very powerful to, to study those interesting phenomena. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Atsushi, it, it was very interesting and uh, of course, uh, over years, uh, we'll really uh, are familiar, uh, became familiar with RIGS, which is extremely useful and powerful technique and can indeed, this actually, this was, uh, this copper aluminum 204 was more or less problem which came from me and we were really interested in uh, which state and teller of the Norbit active one is uh, characteristic for this cooperate in, in particular and RIGS was actually the only technique which could distinguish between these two states so it, it is a, I, uh, thank you for your <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, insightful in, input and, collaboration was very uh, yeah, sorry uh, I I yeah. forgot to show this uh, acknowledgement mm -hmm. and uh, from yeah you, you you gave me a lot of help uh, collaboration and uh, uh, most of the data were, which I showed you today were taken in the uh, Dijin Huang and his collaborators and uh, uh, National Tsinghua University and uh, Professor Imada and uh, uh, ARPES collaborators and also funding agency from Japan and uh, Taiwan. Thank you for your 